flashlight will help you to choose one of the options in the game. If you aim the flashlight at me, you can enter my room and hear my story. Together we may find some interesting surprises. Click on the owl and the computer will read the story to you. If you click on the ball, you can play the games you played before. This mailbox allows you to go to any page you want in the story. The bird sitting on the chimney will introduce you to the people who made this game. And oh boy, they're really something else. Click on the cat inside the trash can and you're out of the game. See, you haven't found all the games yet. At night, Timmy dreamt about the blue goblin. about you. Do you see the stars? As you can see, each star has a number next to it, right? You need to join the stars according to the number sequence. Start at number one and continue. Now comes the best part. You'll find a big surprise when you've joined all the stars. Have fun. The goblin had red eyes and sharp, crooked horns. Timmy tried to get away from him, but the goblin followed him everywhere. So you probably noticed that the goblin's shadow doesn't match his image. We need your help. Click on the shadow until it matches the goblin exactly. If you think you found the correct match, 
Click on the goblin to see if you got it right. You're not looking at my shadow. Hey, what's up? All right. Bye bye. In his dream, Timmy ran from his home to the seashore in the bright sunlight, but the goblin chased him, casting his shadow upon him. Listen, a beautiful pearl is hidden in one of the shells. Click on each shell until you find it. When you pop the shell open, the pearl will jump high in the air. Hurry, click on the shell that the pearl is headed for. We don't want it to fall in the sand, do we? Your score will be displayed. And let's see what you can do with two pearls in the air. There were many people at the beach, but the goblin shadow was cast only on Timmy. Timmy cried out to the people for help, but for some reason, they did not hear him.
The poor sailor is out of breath, and his sail is ripped and torn. You can use the colorful flags to help him patch up the sail. I know he'll appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Timmy shrieked. Suddenly he was back in his room. His father was sitting by his side, comforting him. I don't want him in my dreams. But he scares me, Dad. Don't worry, Tim. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm gonna help you. Tomorrow, we'll figure out how to capture the blue goblin. Remember this shoe and find its mate. Did you notice that in the upper drawer there's a shoe without its match? Do you know where you can find the other shoe? Well, take a look in the lower drawer. When you find the missing shoe, just click on it. Good luck. If this is the shoe, click on it. If not, Click on the lower drawer again. No, that isn't the shoe. Yippee! <laughs> you found the shoe. Bye-bye. Tim, goblins aren't real, said Dad to Timmy as they drove to kindergarten the next morning. But, Dad, in my dreams, the goblin is very real. Don't you see him? Well, I can't dream your dreams, Timmy. Everyone has their own dreams. Yes, Tim. But I can still help you. Tonight before bed, we'll build a dream trap and catch the goblin. So the goblin is only mine? Excuse me, sir. How do I get to Oakwood Kindergarten? At the traffic light, turn right. You will reach the Oakwood Kindergarten. Thank you. Timmy and his dad are lost. They probably won't admit it, but I think they'd appreciate your help in getting to Timmy's kindergarten. Listen carefully to the directions and guide Timmy and his dad by clicking on the arrow keys at the bottom of the screen. They're waiting for you at the kindergarten. 
Bye. Drive carefully. Go straight, Dad. Oh, we took a wrong turn somewhere. Let's ask again. Excuse me, sir. How do I get to Oakwood Kindergarten? At the traffic light, turn left. You will reach the Oakwood Kindergarten. Thank you. Left. Look, Tim, we've arrived. We made it. That night, Dad built a small tent. The tent was made of sheets with a broomstick in the center. Dad attached a string to the broomstick and gave the other end to Timmy. Okay, listen, Timmy. When the goblin appears in your dream, pull on the string and the broomstick will fall. The tent will collapse, trapping the goblin underneath it. Then, call me and we'll make him leave once and for all. Don't forget to pull the string. Where is our son? Have you seen our baby cub? Where is he? We're in a different story now. It's a good thing you called. Listen, don't let the little balls get into the goblin's dream trap. Just hit them over the head with the hammer by clicking on the mouse. But be careful. The balls wearing helmets are really strong. You need to hit them three times to stop them from entering the trap. Go get it. Bye-bye. Dad put signs on the tent, directing the goblin to Timmy, and of course, to the trap. Take this flashlight, Tim. It will help you see the goblin. Remember what I always say, Timmy? 
together forever, forever together. Together forever, forever together. pictures at the bottom of the screen. There is also a big picture, but you can't see it in the dark. Shine your flashlight into the darkness and see which of the small pictures matches the main picture on the screen. Now, click on the matching picture. Look carefully. monster is hiding in every tent, and each monster has a twin. When you find a pair of twins, you'll succeed in catching them in the trap. Bye for now. In the middle of the night, on his way to Timmy's dream, the blue goblin entered the trap. Timmy heard the goblin getting closer and pulled on the string with all his might. Suddenly, there was a loud noise. The broomstick fell. The sheets came down, wrapping themselves around something.
you want to help Timmy create many different monsters, you can use the magic wand. And with the help of the paintbrush, you can paint them all sorts of colors. You can even print out your picture. Go for it! Bye-bye. Timmy switched on the flashlight and looked in fright at the white sheets. He was afraid and wanted to call out to his dad. But then Timmy noticed that whatever was underneath the sheets was very, very small. Much smaller than he was. Please don't shine your light on me. I hate bright light. Uh, I'm gonna get my father right away. But, but your father won't be able to see me. I can only be seen by you. Please, stop shining your light on me. I'm not gonna hurt you. Please, don't shine your light on me. I hate bright light. Please don't shine your light on me, pleaded the goblin. I hate bright light. But Timmy was still afraid, so he did not turn off the flashlight. The goblin sat very still. Up close, he looked really pitiful. Please don't click on me. Don't click on me anymore. Look how small I am. flashlight away. The goblin relaxed and said to himself quietly, how embarrassing to get caught like this. He looked upset and a little frightened too. How embarrassing. If I'm the only one who can see you, what would happen if I didn't dream about you? Then I wouldn't be here at all. I'm here only when you dream about me and only as long as the dream lasts. So why don't you go to other people's dreams? I can't go to other people's dreams. I can only go to your dreams. I'm your goblin. You know what? At home, they even call me Tim's after you. Is that why you've been following me around in my dreams? Yeah. I was afraid you'd forget about me. is a nice name. Well, thank you. Timmy thought for a while without saying anything. He knew that everyone in the house was sleeping, but he was not afraid. If you want me to dream about you, then you have to stand far away and not cover me with your shadow. Where exactly should I stand? Well, stand off to the side. Because when I see all of your body with your bent horns and red eyes, it frightens me. 
If I see only a part of you, I'll let you stay, and maybe I'll get used to you. Then you won't wake up screaming every time, and you'll let me stay longer? Only if you do as I say. Then could you dream of some interesting places? How about the zoo? You never took me to the zoo in your dreams. And what about the fire station? Or the supermarket? Each of the animals is lonely. Find their mate and make them happy. to the color of the window frame. You're a firefighter now, so if you're missing a color, just mix two colors together to create a new one. Think quick.
Look at the list that appears on the right side of the screen. Collect in your shopping cart only those goodies that show up on the list. Be wise with your money. Don't spend it on other things. Hey, watch out for that fishbone! Bye-bye. Timmy helped untangle the goblin. Tim stood up straight and did some leaps and fancy moves to show how strong he was. He also wanted Timmy to see that being caught in the dream trap had not bothered him at all. The goblin jumped into the air and vanished. Timmy switched off the flashlight and lay down on his bed. Many thoughts filled his mind. Soon he drifted off to sleep. Rebuild the picture by switching the puzzle pieces around. Click on each piece and move it to its proper place. Go for it!
The next morning, Dad came into the room to wake Timmy. Tim, look what happened to the trap, he said. Look what happened to the trap, Timmy. the boss. Choose the colors and paint Timmy's house and street. Have fun! Timmy told his dad what had happened during the night. His dad checked the sheets of the tent and found a few dark blue spots. Oh, is this from the goblin, Timmy? Yes, his color came off easily. I'm very proud of you, Tim. You handled this very well. Thank you for building the dream trap, said Timmy. They both laughed. Then they put their heads together and said, Together, together forever, 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 forever together! together. Are you sure you want to stop playing? Bye for now. Come back soon.